This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? Molly, you out here? Guess I'm not going that way. Auto shop must be down this way. be the entrance to that auto shop where Bree said we'd find that battery. Damn, it's jammed tight. Better not get too close. Where the hell have you been? medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh, yeah. That'll work. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Maybe there's a car battery in there we can use for the boat. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Blinking. Must be an anti-theft system. Good chance of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to get up there. It's locked. No way in. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. 
No power. Looks like Crawford had their own semi-trucks. I can't reach it up there. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Something you need? What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop, tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No, it just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. Think I can borrow that, uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. I did it. Whoa, whoa! That's probably not good. No shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. It's off. Got that one off! Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here, I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move your ass! Never stop complaining. Come on. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it... Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you still got the battery? Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing?
You sure you two don't need any help? We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. What's the hand with these fuel cans? They weigh a goddamn ton. You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great, helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old, even children, those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others? Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. <laughs> 